Okay, so if this is your first time here, I would personally want to welcome you and thank you for taking interest in the kalimba. All right, let's be part of the family, so please click subscribe. So carrying on, um, first of all, let's go straight on how to tune your kalimba. Well, of course, you will need your hammer. The kalimba that you are going to tune and of course your tuner you could either have a device or the actual physical tuner or you can also use an app on your phone all right so for me the app that i am using is called the tuner yeah it's a very cool name for me it's like oh man i mean yeah what are you using i'm using the tuner anyway um if you're going to receive the booklet, they are suggesting two other apps. For the Android, it's called... Okay, I'll say it, huh? It's called G-Strings. While for the Apple like system, the app is called Inst Tuner, so it's I-N-S-T-U-N-E-R. But I haven't knew that before. I enjoy this um, tuning device right now, so yeah. So here is the app. It's called the, the Tuner. There you go. Now, if you're going to notice, there are different colors. Green, um, orange, and yellow. Green means that you hit the key that you are trying to achieve. While uh, orange means that you are too high. While yellow means yeah, you are too low. So if you can see, there are negative and positive then you have the zero so um, depending on what key you want try to aim to reach the green area or that zero spot there see you to see so seeing that it's on the orange side it means that it's a bit too it's a little bit high now here's a little clue or a little tip that I have discovered with regards to the hammer. If you're gonna notice, there are two ends to it, the blunt end and the pointed end. So what I do is that if the movement of the key is big, or if it's around here at the plus 50, plus 20 area, I use the big side because it means that, okay, you need to move more while if it's like this as you can see it's already near the zero area i'll just use this gives a lighter tap um that's something i observe that if i use this it moves a lot so it's a big movement while if it's here with the um, pointed area it's more fine and more controlled so let's check it out this is how i do it see it's almost there a little bit more See, it's on the green side. Now, if you want to check the difference, you could always lift up your kalimba. See? It's in tune. Let's continue. Ooh, see? It's almost there, but it's not there yet. So, again, I'm going to use this um, the f for the fine movement. Okay. So just find what angle is comfortable to you. There, see it's in tune. One tap. There you go. And that's how I tune my kalimba. Personally, I before was afraid to change the tone of the kalimba um 
like when I see songs or try to um, look for a song and then you know that it's either a flat or a sharp I don't want to move it at all but to further so that you can further maximize the use and the playing of your kalimba it is a must that you should be confident in changing the key sometime that's the thing about music is that there are sharps there are flats there are highs and there are lows but put them together and you have this beautiful melody right so there you have it i hope that was able to help you and again please join the family click subscribe if this was helpful put a thumbs up if you have any comments suggestions questions you want or even if you have any song requests that you want i would love to read your comments below let's connect to each other okay so with that i bid you god bless may you have the peace love and joy that will be with you all throughout the day until we see again each other on the next video all right so have a good day good night good afternoon whichever time you're watching this all right let's go Thank you.